This is a 2009 Hummer H3T Alpha, so it does have the V8 in it, which we converted over to run on natural gas. What we're trying to do is get the uh, message out there that uh, just because you have a CNG car, it doesn't have to be boring, and you can take a car that is very environmentally not friendly and turn it to one that is. On board, we actually have 50 gallons of fuel, natural gas, so it gives you anywhere from a five to 600 mile range. It is built for a Moab or an off-road vehicle. Everything's been eliminated underneath the vehicle, so there's no gas tank to puncture, there's no EVAP system, everything is self-contained in the back of the unit. Very little modifications are done underneath the hood. Uh, the only thing you do have to change out are the injectors themselves. You have a new fuel delivery system, so you actually run a regulator, which actually regulates the pressure from the tanks. And um, that's about it for these conversions. They're uh, pretty uh, easy going. They work with the OEM computer, which is reflashed, and uh, just trying to get the message out to everyone. These are quantum tanks. They are 24.5 GGE, which stands for gas gallon equivalent each. So uh, roughly about 50 gallons of fuel on board. Um, it also is capable of refueling other CNG cars which may run out of fuel um, in an area where there's no fuel available. It does have a downfill hose that actually plugs into the side of the vehicle. Um, they're manufactured by Quantum. Um, they are a Type 4, which means they are a composite tank. Um, each tank weighs about 112 pounds, so they're not uh, as heavy as what they might look. Most conversions aren't to this extreme. If you look at an Impala, they do have two tanks, but they're much smaller tanks and you're running about 12 gallons of fuel. The average pickup just uses one tank. This again is just kind of an extreme vehicle that you know it shows that you can go to the remote places, Arches National Park and other places like that, and you don't have to be burning um, gasoline to get there. You can actually use a clean burning fuel. The fuel port is actually here on the side. Um, you have the side. This is actually the fill nozzle to actually fill the vehicle itself. Um, it is taped off for the show, so uh, by regulation. But uh, you just fill up to your average CNG station. Uh, they are located throughout the United States. Uh, luckily in Utah, we have more stations probably than anywhere else. So you can actually fill up here, which is almost 50 gallons. Now, if you do get caught, uh, someone does run out of gas, there is actually a hose that we have which is uh, a rescue hose. This actually just plugs into the port itself and you can use this as the nozzle and actually fill other vehicles that may have ran out of natural gas. So it has become in, uh, has came in very handy. And that's where you plug into your Honda GX or your other various uh, CNG vehicles. These tanks are actually um, secured in three different directions. So they are DOT approved, uh, they are safe to use, Natural gas is actually lighter than air, so if there is a leak, it actually dissipates into the air and becomes not flammable anymore. Unlike gasoline, which will actually uh, pool onto the ground and stays flammable for uh, quite some time. There are very few modifications made underneath the hood of this vehicle. The major modification that is done is actually changing out the injectors from a liquid fuel to a gaseous fuel. So after you actually change out the injectors, wire in the injectors, that is basically the only modification done to the engine. The other operation that's done underneath the hood is actually a coolant line, which actually has to run from your heater to the regulator to keep it warm. Uh, just as you use a fire extinguisher, when you do um, discharge it, it actually becomes cold. The regulator is very similar to that, that it will freeze up, removing the pressure from 3600 down to the 90 PSI that's operating. So you do have to actually keep that regulator warm, so it is actually done through the heater system of the car. To the normal person to look at it, there's nothing different than a normal engine. Only if you put that extra sticker on there. That's correct.